Hello, math makers. Thank you for showing up today. You're making math easier just by showing up to learn something new. Today is our very first lesson on solving addition word problems using the cubes method. You may have already seen our video on subtraction. This is on addition, so the way we solve it is going to be a little bit different. But I do want to go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, before we get started, I do want to go over some addition terms that you need to know. Um, one of the things that we need to know is the pieces of an addition problem. We have the add end and the add end, which is the two numbers you're adding. And then you have the answer, which is called the sum or total. Usually it's called the sum, but sometimes you will see it called total. When you take all of that together, we have the equation. Now, I skipped a step. Let's go back to our first slide. We're using the cubes method. Let's see what cube stands for. C means circle the numbers. U means underline the question. B, box the keywords. E, eliminate extra information. S, solve and check your work. We're going to do each of those. Now, I'm going to go right back to here on box the keywords and go back to where we were because on this slide, we're going to show you what those keywords might possibly be. So these are the keywords you might see in a addition um, word problem. And if you see it, if you see these words, that means you have to add. So we have in all or all, all together, together, sum, total, total number, increased by, plus, combined, added to. If you see any of those, that means you are doing an addition word problem. So I want you to make sure you're aware of those uh, because we're going to see them today. Now, just like in the subtraction word problem video, we're going to practice a couple just doing cube, and then we're going to try to solve one together as well. But I want us to get used to using cube so that we can do S correctly. So first, here's our first word problem. Just for practice, we're not going to solve it. This one's about Chloe. Chloe is at the park. She sees 17 bluebirds and 11 redbirds. How many birds does Chloe see in all? Now remember, C for our first step is circle the numbers. Look in the question real quick and see if you can find the numbers. Do you see them? What are they? 17 and 11. That's right. So that's our circle of the numbers. We've done that. Next, we're going to you underline the question. Now, if you remember from the subtraction video, I told you a little secret. How to always find the question is you look for the question mark. And we find that right here. So this sentence is going to be the question. So we're going to underline that. How many birds does Chloe see in all? So we know that the two numbers, 17 and 11, how many birds does Chloe see in all? Next, we're going to box the keywords. And this one, because it's our first time addition, let me tell you, it's, well, let me not tell you yet. Does anybody think they know for yet? What do you think it is? It's in all. And those keywords mean in all. That means you're adding to find out how much you have in all. Next, we're going to look for extra information. Is there extra information in this one? There is. What information up there is just noise? We don't need to know that. Chloe is at the park. That doesn't matter. Um, all we need to know is that she saw 17 and 11 birds and how many we saw in all. The park, that's just the distraction. So we don't need to know that. So then we could go straight to solve. All right, let's practice another one just for the cube. Next, it's about Caseon. Caseon has six pencils on his desk and 22 pencils in his backpack. He's hiding pencils. How many pencils does Caseon have all together? Now remember step one is C. What does C stand for? Circle the numbers. So look for the numbers in the question. What numbers are there? Six and 22. So those are our two numbers. Next, we're gonna underline the question. That means we should all be looking for the question mark. And then we're going to find that sentence. And our question is, how many pencils does Caseon have all together? 
Next, we're going to look for the keywords. Does anybody know what the keyword in that question is? It's all together. And again, that keyword, all together, that means you're adding. Um, next, we're going to look for extra information. Do you see any extra information in that? There's not any in there. Um, you could possibly say backpack and desk are, but not really. Um, so the big things we need to know is six pencils, 22 pencils all together. And then we could solve it. We could add. Now, are you ready? This one we're going to go straight through and do the solve, okay? So let's look at this question. Read it with me. Mason is in his garden. Mason sees 16 butterflies flying in the air and 12 sitting on flowers. What is the total number of butterflies that Mason sees? So let's go to C. What are the numbers? Do you see them? 16 and 12. Next, we're going to look for the question. Does anybody see it? What is that thing we're looking for? The question mark. So our question is going to be all of that total question that we see. And it's, what is the total number of butterflies that Mason sees? Look at that sentence that we just underlined. What is, what are the key words? Usually, sometimes it's at the end. This time it's not. I put it somewhere different. Total number. And when you see the words total number, that means add. And so we know what we're adding these two numbers. We already know this. Is there any extra information we need to get rid of so it's not distracting us? What doesn't matter? Mason's in his garden. It doesn't matter. We don't need to know where he was. All we need to know is that he saw some butterflies and how many he saw, what was the total number. So now we've done that. Now we can solve our problem. So the two numbers we know are 16 and 12, and this tells us we're adding. So we're going to add 16 plus 12. For this one, again, I'm going to use the break apart method. I'm going to break apart that 12 into a 10 and a 2, and then I'm going to add that in steps. First, I'm going to add 16 plus 10. So I'm just go up 1, 16, go to 26. And then I'm going to add the 2. I'm going to start where I left off. I left off at 26. So I'm going to add 26 plus 2. Go up 2, 27, 28. So 26 plus 2 is 28, which means 16 plus 12 is 28. We're going to stop right there. I don't want to do too much in one day and confuse anyone. So I hope that's helped. I hope this is making math easier for you. Until then, good luck, guys, and I will see you next time.